guys. Thank you. How are you? Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, of course. So what can you tell us about where we're going next season? Well, when we pick it up, uh, Barry's uh, still in the Speed Force, um, sacrificed himself in the finale, and it's been six months. Um, so I think it's, it's uh, in all honesty, been harder for Team Flash because they've kind of had to pick up the pieces and move forward. And Barry's been, you know, stuck in purgatory. Um, and I think in the this time in the Speed Force, it's, it's not like when we've seen him in the yeah. Speed Force and people in his life will embody the Speed Force and kind of talk him through the experience. And this time, I think he's more or less been left on his own. Um, to just kind of reflect. And I think that he's been experiencing his entire life from start to finish again and again and again. And so when he comes out, um, everything's a little jumbled for him and he's, uh, he's you know, a little messed up, but at the root of it, I think he's kind of had an awakening. Our first episode is called Reborn. Um, and we're gonna see Barry kind of get back to his old optimistic self. He's gonna appreciate his powers again. He's let go of some of the hardship and whatnot that he's had to deal with and the loss and um, he'll be able to move forward and kind of get back to the Barry that I think everybody wants yeah. to see. Yeah. 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 Well, I got to do something in the first episode that I can't talk about too much because it's the first time we see Barry when he comes out. Um, and it's unlike anything else I've gotten to do, but it's kind of a one-off. It's not really like what Barry will be like for the rest of the season. Um, but I had a lot of fun with it. And, and then moving forward from there, I think it'll be back to kind of the roots and the more fun Barry Allen, but it's more mature than we've ever seen him. I think he is, he's owned up to the mistakes he made last year that sent the team down the dark road that it went down. Um, He's been able to let go of that loss of, his, of Nora and, and Henry that he was never really able to let go of. Um, and we're going to see a lighter Barry Allen, which will be, I think, a lot more fun for me. It's the show as well, right? Though, I mean, the show got pretty It was dark, dark last year, yeah. The whole show itself is going to go with that. Yeah, we're going to go back to kind of season one where it's we're going to have more fun. There's going to be more comedy. But I think the cast has come a long way. I think we're all better actors, honestly, than we were season one. And, um, I, you know, we're this, the first two scripts are really funny. We're in the process of shooting two right now. And... Um, it's really funny. We're laughing a lot on set. I think the, the fans are going to love it. I think it's it's going to be kind of a relief to see our characters in the position that we're going to find them in. Yeah, well, Iris is... Um, she's been having to deal with the heartbreak of, of Barry leaving her behind and, and having to understand that the sacrifice he made had, had really nothing to do with their relationship and, and not take it personally. It was about you know, the whole city and Central City and the responsibility Barry feels to take care of his city and his people. And and I think the only thing that it would have kept him from leaving is if Iris had said, don't leave. I think he would have probably not really been able to if he had sat down and really talked to her about it. Um, but Barry is, you know, he's, he's happy to be home with his fiance. They're looking forward to the wedding and It'll mostly be on Iris to find a way to forgive him for leaving and to understand why he left and, and for them to move forward together. Since she took up the mantle and she's kind of become the leader, yeah. when he, when uh, you get back and Barry gets back, how does he feel about like having come back and everything's kind of changed? Like, do you adjust or do you step up again? Or do you like he, well, I think he just naturally kind of steps up and I think he's a little oblivious to the dynamic at first, to be honest. and. He'll put his foot in his mouth a couple times, but I don't think he's being hard-headed about like, no, you're not the leader, I'm the leader. It's more, yeah, just kind of like, oh, this is the dynamic now. Um, so we definitely in the first and second episode see him adjusting to the new dynamic, but he's cool with it. I think we really are gonna see a more mature, open Barry than we've seen. He's not gonna be quite as hard-headed and stubborn with his friends, yeah. I don't know yet, because uh, we haven't interacted yet. Um, I don't know much about DeVoe, the thinker from the comics, um, but it's not a speedster, so he will be the fastest man alive, for real. It won't, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, it'll definitely be a different kind of dynamic, though.
I want to just see us have more fun with our crossovers and maybe not an alien invasion, maybe something that's, yeah, just like, I, I always reference the scene in the karaoke bar with Caitlin and Barry and I, just because it was fun and it was different than anything else kind of we've done. We had the, the bowling alley scene that was fun in season one, I think, and I'd like to see that, like so all of our characters get together in all the shows and have it not be because the world is about to come to an end, you know? Thank you. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. I'm going to take care of you. Have fun, guys.